Hi everyone, this is I for this topic I will introduce uh, Delta ASPOC PID function. In this example, ASPOC will use analog command and feedback to do inverter PID control. You can see the wiring. Uh, we connect the analog output from POC to ABI and the common point uh, AG link to ACM. And then the feedback uh, from inverter, we connect the AFM uh, to V I or uh, V one plus and the uh, A C M connect to V one minus. So you can see here, uh, we will use the spatial register of S two hundred P O C, and from zero to ten volt, you will map to uh, zero to two thousand. Then we'll come to the inverter parameter setting. So basically, most parameters will keep the default value. But here, I just want to let you know the relevant value uh, parameter. And remember to modify the frequency command uh, 0020 to 2. That means uh, analog uh, control. Then we come to uh, POC setting and programming uh, parts. So uh, here, we have to define the analog input and output type in hardware config. So basically here we have a uh, two type, uh, either voltage or current. And today's example, we use uh, both current as I uh, mentioned over here, we use uh, both uh, zero to 10 volt. So either uh, input and or output, we select a uh, 10 volt. And you might wonder uh, the setting here is a uh, from minus 10 to uh, positive uh, 10. So that means the mapping range will from minus 2000 to, uh, to uh, plus 2000, okay? So that's the reason why here we uh, give only uh, zero to 2000, uh, because we don't consider from zero, uh, zero volt to minus 10 volt. After this uh, basic setting, then uh, we come to the program uh, segment. Uh, first of all, remember we have to define the function block uh, of a PID uh, instruction. So we define in function block first, then we will uh, drop this function block in the main program. And of course, here we have to do some uh, conversion. Uh, because uh, the spatial register we mentioned over here is uh, only in uh, words, but uh, the value we have to fill in in the uh, PID instruction, this actually for the real. So we have to convert the value from a uh, word to a uh, float. So here we have to use the float instruction. And here I will introduce uh, the sequence of uh, how to implement the PID function in ISP SOAP. So first of all, we have to define the uh, PID uh, instruction in function block. After that, as I mentioned, we drag, uh, drag uh, this uh, function block in the main program. After that, we have to define the variable or symbol in the PID instruction. After that, uh, one more thing is uh, regarding the uh, enable condition for a uh, PID instruction. So I separate into uh, two condition. First is uh, with this condition. Uh, second is uh, without this condition. So you can see uh, we define three uh, time. This one is a POC scan time and we uh, define this one is a, a, a millisecond. Then we define another timer. Uh, the scale is a B a millisecond. Then we define a cycle time uh, in the inside the instruction of a PID uh, C. And here uh, one rule normally we we'll define the uh, B or and C millisecond should uh, bigger or equal to A means the scan or POC scan time. So you can see the uh, condition uh, timing and result over here. If we have the timer condition, then that means uh, when timer uh, 
condition is true, then the result will be executed. That means uh, when cycle time C also fulfilled, then the PID will update. It will do the PID operation, then update the value to uh, MV. Second condition is a without timer. So that means uh, it will depend on the POC scan time. So once the scan time A condition is true, then uh, it will do the PID operation and update the value to MV. Okay, and step five, then we will give the analog command uh, in spatial register 172. And as I already mentioned, uh, 0 to 10 volt will map to 0 to 2000. So what I will show later, I will change the value from uh, 0 to 2000. And then we can get the feedback from inverter to ASPOC. This one will uh, store in a spatial register 168. And the value will map uh, from uh, 0 to 2000 will equal to uh, 0 to 10 volt. Then we can do some uh, several times operation and you can check the PID result from MV. And then we can see the uh, PID value will auto fill. Now we come to a uh, POC uh, programming uh, segment. As I mentioned here, you have to use the uh, PID instruction first. Then we have to define the uh, list uh, symbol or variable first. And one more thing I want to emphasize here. Uh, for the PID, uh, KP, KI, KD, and TF, here we have to define the uh, class in, uh, I mean variable type uh, with uh, in out. For rest part, we will define in uh, Define as input and only in MV, we define as uh, output. After that, we drag uh, this uh, function block to the main program. Okay. And this is uh, some uh, basic definition. For example, uh, as I mentioned, the analog output command is from 0 to 2000. That means uh, e equal to uh, 0 to, to 10 volt. So we define the maximum and minimum value here. And we define the cycle time uh, 1000. That means uh, one second. And PID mode, we define one. That means you will do the auto tune. And here, uh, as I already mentioned in the slide, that the uh, we will convert the value from a uh, word to real. And this one is uh, for the uh, timer. Uh, TMRH, uh, TMRH, that means the uh, counting base is uh, one millisecond. So uh, 1000 means uh, one second. And this is what I mentioned with the timer condition or without timer condition. Okay. Without timer is based on the scan time. With timer is based on the timer condition. But uh, as I mentioned, the B and C should be uh, bigger than a uh, scan time, uh, e equal or bigger. Okay, so now we download the program. And we open the, uh, sorry, run the uh, scope. So we will monitor uh, AVI means the analog input command. So now you can see uh, we don't keep any output, so the value all uh, keep zero. Then we switch online. And then uh, enable uh, PID run. After that, we keep the con command here. So as I mentioned, we give uh, any value between 0 to 2,000. So first, we try with uh, 500. And then we should run the BSD. 
So you will see here the output frequency will uh, increase. And then we increase the value to 1000. So here you can see the output. And then we increase to uh, 1500. Okay. And then we increase to 2000. Okay, after that, uh, we reduce the value back to 500. So now you can see this one uh, become zero, and then, then we can back to check the scope. So here you can see now uh, the analog command and the frequency both decrease. And again, we increase that to 1000. And then you can check the PID auto tune uh, per, uh, value. It will show up here. So this is the uh, basic uh, PID control uh, example. And you can also implement by using the interrupt. So for further uh, information, you can check our user manual. Then we back uh, to program and increase uh, to 2000, then back to uh, zero. Okay, now we put the value zero. Oh, sorry, I select the wrong one. We should put change uh, SR72. So now you can see it uh, becomes zero and we can check the scope. The value will uh, decrease to zero. Uh, so that's all for today's uh, PID uh, introduction. I hope this one can help you understand more about our uh, SPOC PID function. Thank you.